Today, I'll discuss a crucial but slightly delicate topic. What you should never say to your ex if you still hope to get her back. Yes, I'm talking about those communication mistakes that most men, and women too, make which can ruin any chance of rekindling a relationship. Often, in the heat of the moment or driven by emotion, it's likely that you'll do or say things that, instead of bringing you closer, push your loved one even further away. But don't worry, today I'm here to help you avoid these slips. I'll tell you the phrases and attitudes you should avoid at all costs. And of course, I'll give you some tips on what to do instead. So, if you're in this situation and want to know more, stay with me. Hi, I'm Peter, a love relationship expert, and today I want to tell you the things you should not say to your ex in the process of trying to win her back, if you really want your attempt to be successful. If you've already made any of these mistakes, leave in the comments what the consequences were. Deal. And if you reach the end of the video and haven't made any of these mistakes, which I highly doubt, also let me know in the comments. I'll be the first to congratulate you. I'll start with the most obvious ones, which almost everyone makes, and save those that will have the most impact on the attempt to reconcile for the end. If you're making any of the first ones, it might not be too serious yet. But if you're making any of the last ones, then you have to stop immediately. Stop right now, and even then, it's probably going to leave a mark. The last ones can really jeopardize any attempt to successfully win back your ex. I'm serious. Most of the time, it's you who sabotages your chances of getting your ex back by making some of the mistakes I'm going to mention here. Some have made all of them. Yes, all. And then they wonder why their ex doesn't want to come back. I know that at the moment of the breakup, it's very difficult to manage our emotions. Yes, it's very easy to make some of these mistakes. But I want you to immediately stop any that you're committing. No excuses, because sentimentalism won't make your ex come back. The first thing is telling her you're desperate, or even showing that you're desperate because she left you. I know you want to shout your love to the world. Tell her how much you still love her in the hope that she will reconsider and come back. You're desperate, but never. Ever. Tell her directly how desperate you are, how much you still love her, how much you miss her at all times. This is a self-inflicted wound. Because this inflates your ex's ego, putting her on a pedestal. You might think that saying this will make the person come back to you, but no. It's precisely the opposite. It's not the, I love you, that will convince her. You devaluing yourself in her eyes will only boost her ego. Keep your feelings to yourself and don't go shouting to the four winds, let alone to your ex, how much you still love her, no matter how guilty you feel about the breakup. Leave your feelings quiet until you have won her back and both of you are in a good place. When you're together, you can tell her you love her every day. For now, you can say you miss her, or something you used to do together, but only if it comes up in a conversation you're having. Never directly, and definitely not by begging. The second thing you cannot say, and should also not do, is to threaten her, saying you will stop talking to her, that you will block her on social media, or that you will delete her number from your phone. This will only show how desperate you are for a bit of her attention. You should not block her. But even if, for some reason, you intend to block her on social media, or are thinking of initiating no contact, never tell her what you plan to do. Implementing no contact after the breakup of a relationship is a good idea. It doesn't work miracles, but when done correctly, it usually yields good results for both parties. I have a playlist with several videos on the topic of no contact. Take a look at the end of this video, and it will help you understand why it might be a good idea to do it. Another thing you should not do is become just friends with your ex. You're trying to win back this woman, and then you just want to stay friends with her. Do you think by staying around, she won't forget you, and she might end up feeling sorry for you and come back? That won't happen. And do you want a woman to come back to you out of pity because she thinks you're nice, or because you managed to reignite the flame of passion in her heart? What will happen is you'll be forever stuck in the friend zone, and once you're there, you'll never be able to make her see you as an attractive man she wants to come back to. And what about when she introduces you to her new boyfriend one day? How will you react? Don't do this. Distance yourself and value yourself because only then will you have the chance to win her back. 
You can talk to her occasionally, but don't be friends. Another common mistake is constantly asking for forgiveness for everything you did and didn't do. If you made mistakes that led to the breakup of the relationship, you can admit you were wrong and that you regret some things you did. But don't beg for her forgiveness. Don't promise that if she comes back, you'll be good. Don't keep asking for forgiveness all the time. Don't follow her around saying, forgive me, for the love of God, because this will make you appear as someone who doesn't value or respect themselves. And if she's upset or even angry with you, this will never make her come back. The more you victimize yourself and beg for her to come back, the more she will pull away. There are men who, just so she won't argue with them, even admit to mistakes that were hers. They do everything, agree with everything. Do you think that by playing the victim, you will manage to win your ex back? Acknowledge your mistakes and tell her, but don't beg for anything. Nor should you be constantly apologizing. If things go well, there will come a time for a serious conversation about each other's mistakes. Trying to please your ex by being there, doing everything she wants, becoming her personal servant. Becoming a doormat that she constantly ignores, but turns to when she needs something and who is always there to do what she asks. Just a phone call is enough for you to run foolishly to do whatever she asks. You end up lending money, lending your car, running errands, anything she wants. This will make you someone she uses, who she steps on at her pleasure, but will never respect. And if she doesn't have the minimum respect for you, she will never come back. And you stay there, emotionally trapped to this person and not moving on with your life. You miss all the opportunities to find someone who values you and can make you truly happy, just to pick up crumbs from your ex. You can do her a favor, when it's convenient for you, and you see that she really needs help, but don't be constantly available. Because this will not bring her back and will not let you escape from the emotional neediness you're in. You will never win her back, nor will you find another person who makes you happy. I have a video about the danger of emotional immaturity in relationships that I will leave the link in the description. This is one of the worst things you can do and say. Telling her that you're dying of longing, that you miss her terribly. That you can't live without her. This is one of the worst things you can say. It will put her on a pedestal with you kneeling at her feet. It will inflate her ego. Telling her you're dying of love for her will not make her come back. It will allow her to enjoy the pleasure those words give her and extend that feeling of power she has over you for as long as possible. Besides, she will continue to see you as pitiful. And nobody comes back to a poor boy. What makes her come back is feeling that you have become a man of value, that you have improved as a person, that you have self-esteem, and know what you want. And the urgency, the fear of losing you. The fear that now that you value yourself, another woman might appear who attracts you, and she might lose you forever. As long as you continue to chase after her, showing yourself available for whatever she wants, she will enjoy the power you're giving her over yourself. She will only consider the possibility of coming back to you when she's afraid of losing you. When she sees you as a man of value, a man who deserves her love. At that time, it will be her who wants to get closer to you. When you ignore her and stop trying to please her, that's when she will try to get closer to you. I have a video with tips on how to make your ex afraid of losing you that I'll leave the link in the description. Watch it. These are the mistakes and things that almost all men say when they go through a breakup and become desperate to get back their ex, without having the slightest idea of what they should do and, more importantly, what they should not do. If you haven't made any of these mistakes, congratulations, because you're among the few. Please let me know in the comments. But I highly doubt that you haven't made some of them. Or even all of them. I hope you've left in the comments the ones you've made. If you haven't done so, do it now. Pause the video so it doesn't end yet and comment, share your opinion or ask for advice, and let's talk here in the comments. Also, check out the links I have in the description. To conclude, I'll tell you again that if you're making any of these mistakes, you need to stop immediately. Until my next video.